What's up, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Welcome back. I'm Sean. And I'm Jen. And today... And you might hear T'Challa. Yeah, you <laughs> might hear... Just FYI. You hear the purring in the background. It's not a warp core. Here's his tail. Look, he made an appearance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a warp core. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a warp core. So what are we doing today, Jen? Are you ready? Sure. What are we doing? Let's do some Never Have I Ever questions. Never Have I Ever? Yes. We found a list on here. I don't even know these questions. What? Anybody else like get a little nervous when people want to play that? You're just like, what are you going to find out about Isn't me? Isn't it the worst? Like, because you're like, okay. And then someone then like... Then they say you. something and you're like, do I lie or do I let them know I've done that? Yeah. And, and then, but people, when they do it, like you're instant. And no one no one goes like, oh, well, never have I ever worn glasses or something like right? that. Right? No, never, no. They're like, never... never have I ever insert thing that's going to get you in trouble with YouTube. A significant other, YouTube, or, a, or the law. And you're like... Crap. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we're super excited to do this. I'm, I'm, we're just hanging out today, and we're going to have some fun. So. I'm always excited to learn new things about you. And every time we do games like this, I really do learn new things mm -hmm. about him. And the same it's, with you. It's awesome, because we've been together for seven, six, mm -hmm. six years Something now? Something like that. But we've been <laughs> friends know. for... We've been friends Eight? for almost a decade. Oh, yeah. So it's like... 14, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. almost nine years. It's crazy. Ever. But, huh. like, I still learn new things about you, and, and that's just kind of crazy mm -hmm. to me. And so. it's, it's funny is, I have ADHD, so I forget a lot of things, so... I just forget things. A lot of times, she'll be like, oh, this, and I'm like, oh, no, I didn't know that. And she's like, yeah, you did. I'm like, hmm. But that's okay. <laughs> I forget things. All the time. <laughs> All the time. He tells me things and I'm like, oh yeah, that's cool. Like a year later, I'm like, hey, have you ever? And he's like, yeah, I told you that. And I'm like, cool, I learned a new thing again. <laughs> <laughs> but you ready to knock out some of these questions? Yeah, and it, you guys at home, feel free to play in the comments and let us mm -hmm. know what you've done. I have not seen this list. I have no idea what's on it and I'm kind of scared. I've skimmed through like six of the questions. So I just, so I just want to make sure that it wasn't like, Never have I ever punched a dog. You know, that kind of stuff. Which I've never punched a dog, so. Who would do that? Mean people. Okay. <laughs> but now, you guys ready? Yeah. All right. First question. Never have I ever gone skydiving. I have never. I've done a version of it. What's, oh. In the military training. <laughs> so, not really cool, but, you know, I'm, I don't have no desire to do it. I have zero desire. There's something about jumping out of a fully functional plane with a sheet attached to you that just doesn't <laughs> doesn't appeal to me. Honestly, me, I'm worried about the landing as mm -hmm. somebody who uh, pays the bills with her legs. Mm -hmm. um, and that's not as weird as it sounds <laughs> if you don't know I'm a tap dancer, but as someone who pays the bills with her legs, mm -hmm. I am really worried about a sprain, a strain, or a break, or something mm -hmm. with a rough landing. Because that can happen, even, mm -hmm. even in a routine dive, like mm -hmm. how you hit the ground can be a little rough. One of my so. buddies, he actually went skydiving with his family, and his brother fell asleep. They thought he passed out. Turns out that a lot of people actually just fall asleep, because like it, when you're when you're fall when you're in there, it's not feeling like you're falling. You're it's like when you're driving, you put your hand out, you know how the wind's blowing. That's mm -hmm. what it feels like. Oh. And they said that the, that sound and that feeling just put him to sleep. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so they thought he like passed out. Yeah, they thought he passed out. Dude was just on. <laughs> oh my god! I hope it was a tandem dive. I don't know. I'm assuming because I'm he, assuming because he, met, he I've lived. met his brother. Okay. So <laughs> I met his brother after that story. So. Great. Are uh, you ready for the yeah. second one? Never have I ever broken a bone. Oh, I totally have. I absolutely have. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're not even counting. Yeah. I don't have. I think you said we're doing what 25 questions. Yeah. Uh, I I don't have 25 fingers. So, um, yeah, I definitely have. You're clearly not several times. <laughs> AI generated art. You don't have 25 fingers. No. <laughs> All right, yeah, I have. Um, what did you break? I broke, um, I, I fractured a rib, and I wow. broke my, um, I had an upper plateau tibial fracture in my knee. Okay. Big words. I have broken my ankle, I have broken my pinky, and I have had micro fractures to my shins, mm. so. Um, oh, I also broke one or two of the toe, one of the feet, in my feet, remember? Metatarsal. Yeah, metatarsal. You fractured your metatarsal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, all right, next one. Never have I ever gotten a tattoo. Not yet. Not yet. It is in the plans. 
More on that later. I know. Everyone's like, wait, Jen, you're getting a tattoo? <laughs> They're like, She's... I know. Um, that is in the plans. Mm -hmm. uh, again, I'll do a whole video on that. It's mm -hmm. got a story behind it. It's very important. It's um, kind of a big to, deal. If we're able to, maybe we can vlog part of it. Oh, I would love to vlog the whole experience. Mm -hmm. Please watch as I scream and cry. <laughs> Let me get a close up. That mm -hmm. like Scorsese, like emotional pan in. Wow. <laughs> Uh, never have I ever gone vegan or vegetarian. Never. Never in my life I have, have I ever tried being vegetarian, let alone vegan. Like, mm. that's just, I, I just couldn't do, I just couldn't give up meat. I, I would not be vegetarian if my life depended on it. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't be a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll be a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> for anyone who's new to this channel, we have been vegan for a long time. Yeah. I have been vegan now for six years? And I think I've... Seven years. I have reached my seventh anniversary being vegan. You have been vegan for five. What? Five years. I thought it was three. Nope, 2018. It is 2023. So, mm. that's a funny question. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever gone scuba diving. I have not. I have not. I have gone snorkeling. I have gone snorkeling. I have not gone scuba diving, and I have zero interest in doing so. I don't like sea creatures. <laughs> I might. Please don't. I don't, I don't have any if desire. If you don't have a desire to, please don't develop it okay. for me. I don't need the anxiety of wondering if a barracuda is after you, okay? <laughs> when you said a barracuda, I was like, I'm pretty sure there's not a bear in the water. <laughs> that was my first thought, and I'm like, wait, wrong survival. <laughs> uh, all right. Never have I ever ridden a horse. I have. I used to love riding horses when I was a kid. My um, One of my family members had a couple of horses, and apparently I liked riding the very difficult one. He was not very good at listening, and he wasn't a very tame horse, but he was my favorite to ride, and I don't remember his name. I do remember I rode him English saddle instead of American, which means it didn't have that little like knob that you hold. Mm. So... But yeah, I used to ride, and mm. then as I got older, I stopped, and then um, the last time I rode a horse was in Cosmo, Mexico on an excursion mm. for the cruise. Yeah, we were we got to about ride horses that. among um, Mayan ruins. That would be so cool. I would love to do that. Let's do that next time we go to Cosmo. Okay. I've, <laughs> I've ridden horses off and on as a kid, just, you know, with trips and different things like that, but never really knew anybody that had a horse, so. I used to go to my family member's house, like once a month to go riding it was so fun and then we just kind of stopped i was reasons. from i was from a very urban environment so i didn't have horses uh, <laughs> i lived about 45 minutes away from i think this was near vero beach it was mm. like palm beach gardens or something and so not vero beach mm -hmm. vero beach was a different family member palm beach gardens is just above like the Boca West Palm area or mm. something. I think it's either above or below it. I don't know. It's near okay, there. it has land. Okay. So lots of people have horses out there. I got you. <laughs> Number seven. Never have I ever gone bungee jumping. No, mm -hmm. and I have no desire to do so. I Again, have, the landing. I have no desire of jumping off something with a giant rubber band wrapped to my ankles. <laughs> uh, number eight. Never have I ever been on a cruise. I have been on a cruise. <laughs> I was like, I've been on a lot of cruises. I have been on a few. You it's actually my, got me to go on my first one. Yeah, it's my family's vacation of choice. My brother is obsessed with cruising, mm -hmm. and uh, so he picks our vacation. He usually picks the location. Um, he actually just picked our location for 2024. Mm, that's and, right. Um, that one we have to vlog. Yes, we definitely have to vlog that cruise. Uh, I'm not going to say anything yet because it's not official or set in stone. But We're he going has, to Gotham City. Yeah. Um, he has chosen the location of both of our 2024 cruises, because mm -hmm. remember, there's mm -hmm. two. <laughs> um, I'm really excited about the summer one. I'm not as excited about the November ones, just because it's the same ports we've been to. Mm -hmm. But a week with my family is a week with my family. Mm -hmm. I don't care where we go. Mm -hmm. And I think one of them's Grand Turk again. Mm -hmm. And I always love going to Grand Turk, because the whole NASA thing. Mm. Um, yeah, I said that we're going to Gotham City. There's probably there's probably an actual Gotham City, and someone who's watching it is like, they're coming here? There's a cruise that comes here? <laughs> but, That's um, funny. Never have I ever been in a helicopter. I have not. I have. I would assume in the military that mm -hmm. you've been in a helicopter. <laughs> they're really cool. I won't. I won't go in one. It's really loud. Yeah, that's part of why I won't go in one. But I, I refuse for a few reasons, but one of them I just... It's the big reason, and I'm not explaining. Hmm. 
<laughs> she's mad that she can't fly it. They won't let her fly it's, it, so she said no. No, honestly, it's the rhythm mm-hmm. of the... I'm just kidding. <laughs> whoa, 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 yeah, whoa. I was like, it just makes me want to listen to dubstep, and I can't. <laughs> no, it's... Whatever. All right. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, number 10. Never have I ever been on a blind date. I have not. I have. I always wanted to. I always wanted to know what that was like. Mm. Like, maybe one day I'll just do it. You can, you can like, just okay. binoculars yeah. just to make sure I'm all right. Just so you have that experience. Okay. Then I'll just never call the person again. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's so rude. I should no. not do that. <laughs> no, my um, my blind date, she was really nice. We, we hung out a couple times, but we just didn't have a lot in common. So Sometimes really you cool. just don't click. And... It's okay. Number 11. Sorry, I was trying to remember what number I was on. Never have I ever eaten sushi. Oh, you bet your butt I have eaten sushi. Have, have you eaten I? sushi? It depends. I have eaten vegetarian sushi. Hmm. Oh, I right. have never had sushi with fish in it or shrimp or any or crab or any of that. Mm-hmm. I don't like seafood. I've never liked seafood, not even a little bit. I think the closest I've ever gotten to liking seafood was tuna salad when I was a kid. But that's it. You guys, your mom said that you and your brother love fish sticks. That's true. <laughs> Fried imitation fish. Mm. <laughs> but um, yeah, I I don't. Does that count if I've eaten vegetarian sushi? I, I'm gonna go. It doesn't say fish sushi. Yeah, but sushi in general is raw fish, mm-hmm. or at least like. You guys, let me know in the comments. Have mm-hmm. I had sushi? Because I've had only the vegetarian kind. I've had the inari. I've had like cucumber roll. I've had uh, sweet potato roll. Uh, the Japanese pickle roll. I've had all kinds of stuff. I just have never ever had sushi with a sea creature in it, except seaweed. I have. I have had. Lots You've of... had lots of sushi. <laughs> so I love, yeah. I love seafood. So. This was even before I was vegan. I, I don't like seafood. I it's don't a no eat for me. seafood now. But before <laughs> when I was before I was vegan, I loved sushi. We had an all you can eat buffet that had sushi there too. Mm-hmm. But you had to pay like three or four dollars more to get uh, all you but can you eat did. sushi. But you could also pay another seven ninety nine and get all you could eat crab legs. Oh yeah, no, that's no. And then they told no. they told Ray and I we had to stop eating. <laughs> oh my god. He probably walked in the door and they were like, oh no. And, and I, then really, it was the, it was the little guy mm-hmm. that was going to eat it. Oh, Tavish and him used to get so mad because I would eat three times the amount that they would. Oh my gosh. And I was a third their size. Sorry, I'm having trouble today. <laughs> All right. Number 12. Never have I ever gone skinny dipping. Dipping, 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 dipping. I have gone skinny dipping. <laughs> It's basic. It's not. I when know you, what it is. It's not when you dip your food in no, a sauce. No, no. My question, and this is going to reveal something, but my question is: Is it going skinny dipping only if you get in the water without clothes on, or is it still skinny dipping if you got in the water and at some point made the decision not to wear? anything it's skinny dipping if you are in water naked okay then yes i have (laughs) that wasn't the intention it's just how the evening progressed she was like i don't like this outfit i'm taking it off (laughs) no no i went butt naked and just ran into the water (laughs) was it salt water because ow no no, it wasn't (laughs) and uh we got scared and we heard somebody and so like me and a couple of the other people we were like we stopped and just watched the woods my ex at the time, she just bolted out of the water, and she is pale. <laughs> now I know so she doesn't like watch ghost, these. Right? It looked like Casper was running <laughs> bare butted into the woods to get away from everybody. That's funny. I gotta message her one day and remind her of that. I remember the time it looked like Casper was running the water. She like, Shut up. <laughs> uh, never have I ever been arrested. I have not. If I do ever get arrested, it will be for a noise complaint. Mm. <laughs> You've said this on this channel yeah. before. I have been. I was put in the back of a cop car. I did not get charged with anything. Basically, I got attacked because I was protecting a girl who got hit by her boyfriend. So you were defending someone. Mm-hmm. So it was noble. In my defense, though, I didn't hit the guy because he hit her. I hit him because he hit me three times. Ah, and that's the rule, right? Mm-hmm. For, yeah. Yeah. I mean, technically, technically after one time I could have hit him back, but I was polite. <laughs> All right. I got tasered. 
Al? Mm-hmm. Hey. Okay. <laughs> the cop tased me in the butt. <laughs> what? He just hit me in the meatiest part he could see. Why could he see your butt? No, it wasn't exposed, <laughs> but like the angle that I was at, he just went. I, I oh appreciate I appreciate that over being like tased in the kidney. <laughs> okay. Glenn thought it was funny. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys will learn a lot about me if you didn't mm-hmm. know that. I've been butt naked in water and got electrocuted in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Number 14. Never have I ever gone on a road trip. What, like last weekend? Or like... Two weekends before that? Every or maybe time, like every, every time, time noise complaint as a show? <laughs> yeah. We are constantly on road trips. Yeah. So yeah, but I've gone on, I've driven from Ohio to Florida, Ohio to South Carolina, from, I was in the car with people. We You've went driven from, from Florida to Ohio. Yeah. We and Ohio too. to Florida. We also did Florida to <laughs> Indianapolis. Indianapolis. Yep. So, yeah, we've gone on plenty of road Lots trips. Lots of road trips. The furthest that I did is we drove from the Keys all the way up to Boston. Okay, that's far. I was 14, so I didn't drive. <laughs> um, number 15. Never have I ever gone to a music festival. I have. Not like a big one like Coachella or mm-hmm. anything, but there were smaller ones like the Warp Tour mm-hmm. and stuff. I, I went to Zeta's Nutcracker Ball, and I went to... Oh, there was... There was some kind of... It was like Rock by the River, but it wasn't. Mm-hmm. I saw the Foo Fighters. That's all I remember. I went to Ozfest twice. Oh, Halloweeny roast! It was called the Halloweeny roast. I want to go to that. <laughs> but yeah, I've gone to Ozfest twice, and I've gone to the Gathering of the Juggalos oh, several that's times a music when festival. I was younger. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Number sixteen. Never have I ever gone to a foreign country. We have. We have. I've been you've to, to several foreign mm-hmm. countries, but uh, you've been to several now. Mm-hmm. You've been to the Bahamas as a foreign country, mm-hmm. and Mexico, mm-hmm. and Turks and Caicos, mm-hmm. uh, Dominican Republic. Is there anywhere else? Indianapolis. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, Virgin Islands yeah. don't count, but we're going to be going to Bermuda mm-hmm. and... Um... Redacted, don't tell them the new place. <laughs> oh, no. That's not the... What? The... The... Uh, 2024... Oh, yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not going to say that one, but... <laughs> What's the, the other one, uh, it's like a, it's an alcohol. Bermuda and, no, we're not going to Bermuda. I'm sorry. It's Aruba. Aruba. And yeah. then Curacao. Curacao. Curacao? Curacao. I don't know how to pronounce it. Carousel. Let us know. It's Carousel. <laughs> sure. The little thing that goes in service. All right. So yeah, lots of foreign countries. <laughs> Never have I ever been in a long distance relationship. I think we both were. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was. They're rough. I was. That's what led me to moving to Florida. I was, and it was the longest distance that mm-hmm. you could be in a relationship, in a long distance relationship, and and still be in the continental U.S. Mm-hmm. Wait, is Alaska the continental U.S.? Mm, I think so, because it's technically connected. I think I don't know, but like it was four thousand five hundred and fifty miles. <laughs> that was the distance between me and the guy I was seeing at the time. So I was in Ohio. <laughs> she was in Jacksonville. Yeah, Florida to Alaska. <laughs> South Florida. No, it was North Florida. I was oh. in Tallahassee, and he was in Fairbanks. Oh, okay. Um, number 18. Never have I ever been fired from a job. Does it count as being fired if they didn't tell you? I mean, are you still on their schedule? No. <laughs> you they probably... told you, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I guess, yes, I was let go from a studio. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I was never told he was, mm-hmm. <laughs> that I was being let go. I got fired from one job because my engine blew and I couldn't get to work. And so I missed like two weeks. Because I live like 45 minutes away. I couldn't yeah. get to work. Um, and then I got fired from another job because I got lied about. Mm. I, me and this other kid were up for a promotion and he said that I stole alcohol. I did not. I didn't really drink then. Um, and then... God, I sound like a horrible employee. I got fired from three places. Um, I got fired from another place that actually got rid of my department when I was in basic training. And then when I came back... It's not getting fired. That's more like getting let go. Yeah. Or like laid off. Mm -hmm. But they couldn't fire me because of the military thing. So they were like, uh, here, look, you're late. I wasn't late. I didn't have the ability to clock in. Yeah. So 
Don't ever work. I mean, them. lots of people get fired from things. I got fired because I was too expensive and it was cheaper to pay a student to teach my classes than it was to have me come and teach the classes. I think the pay rate difference was I was getting paid three times mm -hmm. what the student would be getting paid. So honestly, if you really think about it, it made financial sense for the business. So I wasn't angry about it. I was angry about how I was let go. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I can't believe that I found out. Yeah. The worst part is that my students were like, so we'll see you in January after the break, right? It was like December. Like, you'll still be here in January. I was like, yeah, why wouldn't I be? That's, mm -hmm. that's a silly thing to ask. Of course I'll be here. And then over the break, I was told, or he was told to tell me that I wasn't coming back. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I guess I lied to that student and then I felt bad, but now she's my student again, so I don't feel bad. So I officially, unofficially fired Jen. Yeah. <laughs> All right, a couple more. Yeah. Um, number 19, never have I ever gone camping. I have gone camping. I hated it. I have gone camping. You've gone something. I've gone <laughs> sleep in the woods and survive. <laughs> With a knife. Yeah. Uh, number 20, never have I ever gone on a spontaneous trip. Not like Cam Spontaneous, where they just drove to Pennsylvania. I have gone on a spontaneous trip. I like to plan mine. I In college, you do things. And I definitely went on spontaneous trips to, like, Orlando. What do you consider <laughs> spontaneous? Like, you all decide to just get in the car and go. I mean, like, I did that with Glenn. We, we were in Delaware, and then we drove to Cleveland to go get Waffle House. Yeah, sure. So that's he was in Delaware, Ohio. Yeah, not Delaware, the state. Yeah, we went to we went from so it's like two hour drive just to go get Waffle House. I'll take it. Okay. I'll accept it. Number twenty one. Never have I ever gone on a first date. What? Did we have a first date? We did not. We mm. just took friendship and turned it into a relationship. So we really didn't. Mm. But I do remember my first date ever. I went to a punk concert. Mm. What was my first date? I think we went and saw a movie. Hmm. Never let movies be your first first date. <laughs> no. Number 22. Never they already asked that. Oh, boo. <laughs> never have I gone on a blind date. Um, 23. Never have I ever dated someone I met online. I married someone I met online. I met you on the internet. Oh, that's true. I was like, who? <laughs> no, my last husband I went to high school with. I was, that's like, what I was like, wait. We didn't date in high school, but I, anyway. I met you online. Mm -hmm. That's true. <laughs> in like a want ad. Mm -hmm. Not for a relationship, but he wanted to like do video projects. Mm -hmm. And that's how I met him. Have so I? yes, you have. I have. Because you met me online. I was trying <laughs> to think of I have with somebody else, and I think I have with one or two other people. I have no issues with online dating. I just don't like people. They'd be lying. Next. Uh, never have I ever gone on a date with someone twice my age. Twice my age? No. I have never. Not twice my age. Older than me. Yes. Uh, perhaps even 10 years older than me. Yes. Mm -hmm. But twice my age? For that one, I would have had to be 10. And that's just no. That's mm -hmm. a no. I think... <laughs> When I was like 21, I went out with a 36-year-old. That's still not twice your but age. yeah, so no, mm -hmm. I'm, I don't think so. They would have had to be 42. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I have not. I had to really think about it. All right, last one. Never have I ever had a crush on a celebrity. Who would say never to that? Like, everyone has had a crush on a celebrity, okay? Mm -hmm. Even if they're like a G-list celebrity, you've had a crush on somebody. Mm -hmm. Hell, I'm an... A, a J list. Hey, Jen list. <laughs> okay. I'm like a J list celebrity at this point. So if you have a crush on me, you've had a crush on a celebrity. There you go. I've had a crush on you. Oh. Mm. Well, these questions were fun. Mm -hmm. uh, we should do these again. Sounds good. I'm down. Okay. You guys down? Make sure you leave your comments below. Answer those questions. Yes. Let us know what you have and, and haven't please, done. And please let me know if I have tried sushi. I want your opinion. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was super fun. Don't forget to subscribe to this mm -hmm. channel by hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoy funny content and things like that. If you have any ideas for videos, leave a comment below. We'll take a look, see what we can come up with. But thanks for hanging out with us. I'm Sean. And I'm Jen. And we are out of here.